A shooting near Stowe Rocks High School wounded a 19-year-old man late this afternoon, and it happened right as students were being dismissed from the school. Lynn Hayes Freeland is live tonight with more. Lynn. Susan, police cleared the scene just outside of Stowe Rocks High School probably about in the last 30 or 40 minutes, but they've been here all afternoon looking at shell casings, doing interviews, because in a nutshell, a 19-year-old was shot in the middle of the street in broad daylight. School children walked past Dale Street in Stowe Township Tuesday afternoon, confused by the police presence and crime scene tape all around. A 19-year-old was shot and seriously injured a block from Stowe Rocks High School. Frustrated. You're frustrated because it's becoming too much commonplace, not just in our area, but all across the country. It's becoming too much commonplace, and, you know, it's news now, and tomorrow it'll be forgotten about, and it, it just can't be. This surveillance picture shows a man police say may have critical information about the shooting. He was spotted running from the scene. So far, a motive has not been identified. We just heard like it sounded like gunshots, but it sounded kind of funny. And there were like probably like four or five of them. And then we saw about like five or six like teenagers run up the street and start like banging on the daycare doors. Right now, we're early in the investigation. Uh, we do have uh, some information on one of the people. One of the people we believe is involved in the shooting wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Uh, it's royal blue on top, uh, darker blue on the bottom with a thick white stripe through the middle, uh, seen fleeing the area immediately after the shooting. The victim has been uh, less than forthcoming. The high school was on lockdown for about 30 minutes after the shooting, although dismissal had taken place much earlier. It is believed the incident had nothing to do with students from the school. Uh, talking with the superintendent and the principal, they, we definitely know that they weren't students that were involved with this, and um, we don't believe any students were hurt. Now, police say even though that victim is not cooperating, there were a lot of other people on the streets, and they're hoping someone will come forward with information. Reporting live tonight, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.